Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you the quickest way I've found so far to convert to convert a MP3 to MP4 to edit it to add an image and then to upload it to YouTube. Okay, so here's the podcast that I just did, right? What I did was what I did, guys, is um, you start your podcast. You you set up. You need a screen recorder, okay? Like to to do this, I'm I'm using Screencast-O-Matic, okay? So you need something that will record your screen, okay? Um, so then I pressed that, and you, I listened to the audio, okay? And but the sc the screen recorder is recording it. Don't forget. So it's automatically got an image. Okay, so as far as Screenomatic is concerned, it's a video file. Okay, now um, ah, it's a bit tricky to show you guys because I'm using the actual recorder as we speak. But if you got if you've got Screenomatic, uh, I actually love it. It's um, uh, you know. Can't say enough about it. I use it for my um, I together with Screenomatic and Canva. That's what I do for my YouTube clips, etc. Now, um, before I was using Filmora and uh, you know ch changing it in Filmora to uh, from an MP3 to an MP4, which took about an hour. Then uh, and I exported it to my YouTube. Then I had it to import it back into Screenomatic. So doing it this way. Um, just, I, th I, I'm a bit slow sometimes, <laughs> I should have thought about this, uh, uh, a lot sooner, but, you know, it's the trouble with being busy, 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 you, you, the obvious escapes you sometimes, but just, you know, to help anybody out, else out there who wants to, um, uh, you know, you want podcast to listen to and then you want to quickly convert it to an mp4 edit it and upload it to youtube the fastest way i've found so far is to use screenomatic or you know i think uh, obs uh, is another one that will uh, record your screen you just need something that will record your screen uh, then it will automatically uh, you know, save as a video in MP4 because, as far as Screenomatic is concerned, it's MP4. Um, now, uh, and then once you're in Screenomatic, you have the ability to uh, do a lot of editing, you have ability to put your own, upload your own. Um, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can just show you. I can't show you my one, obviously, but. Let's go to quickly screen oh Matic and see what if I can show you that way. Um screen of Matic here it is pretty awesome um screen recording uh video editor and how videos features edit with uh doo -doo 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 video editor let's have a look at the it's pretty cheap too. I think uh you know you can get the free one, but the free one can only go up to 15 minutes recording, I think. Uh, let's have a look at the pricing for you guys. It's pretty cheap. I mean, I think I've got the um, cheapest version there is, but it does everything. Uh, I think I've got that one, $1.50. Yeah, that $1.50 a month. I think that's the one I've got. Um, but easy video here to record computer audio, import narration and music, scripted recordings, draw and zoom, screenshot tool, create captions with speech to text, screen, for all you can go for that one if you guys do more serious stuff. Uh, but let's have a look at... Yeah, so it's the fastest way I've found so far. There might be a faster way out there uh, that you can do this. But if you screen record your screen while you're watching an audio, Screenomatic and probably uh, most other screen recorders will automatically turn it into a video file. Then you can edit, edit it like, um, you know, uh, the only thing I can't do as far as I know is I can't do a thumbnail. Uh, but that's no problem because uh, what I do is I upload it to my channel and then I do the thumbnail uh, 
when it's uploaded to my channel. But that's the least of my worries. Um, so there's the easiest way that I've found so far, guys. Um, record your screen for free. Uh, edit with intuitive video. So, yeah. It's, see, you see how there it's got a lot of things you can do. You can cut, you can copy, and you, uh, you can uh, narrate over anything. Uh, there probably is a way to do um, thumbnails, but I haven't found that yet. If, you, if anybody out there is using Screen Nomadic and you know of a way to use Screen, Screen Nomadic to do thumbnails, um, let me know because that would be very handy. As far as I know, I haven't found anything yet. Uh, but yeah, let me know, guys. Okay, now I'll go down here. Uh, discover stock videos and images to enhance your recordings. Yeah, you can up upload your. Um, you've got a stock library. You can also upload, you know, images that you want. Um, secure backup. Yep, that's true. Uh, yeah, it's just a pity I can't, you know, because I'm using the recording now, so it's just a pity I can't show you guys. Share and protect your content with collaborative management tools. Uh, yeah, so, you know, and I'm not even affiliated with these. Uh, really, that's what I should, is, you know, get uh, become an affiliate partner for these guys, because screen matic they're sort of those, you know, screen matics like... Um, you know, that person you know that's doing an awesome job, but they never get uh, much appreciation, they're just working be behind the scenes, but they do a great job. screen o is like that, you know, they don't really get much recognition, but they are um, screen recorders. Let's have a look at that. Um, you know, if you, if you guys know a better one too out there, uh... I use OBS for um, um, live streaming, but I haven't really tried it for... And Fullmore is okay, but I'm not really... Uh, I find I find this one, uh, screen o uh easier to use, basically. Uh, you can capture any area of your screen, which is true, yes, yeah, so like that, that you can make the where you screen, which is also what I like, because sometimes you've got stuff on the outside here, or, you know, people popping up with their little notifications, you know, your friends or whatever, which is obviously okay, but, you know, it gets in the way of the video, so way around that is, um, you know, instead of deleting every time those pop up or whatever, um, I mean, you don't have to, but you can make the area smaller, you can, um, what do you call it, trim it, so all that is um, gone. Um, yeah, so basically what th this video is about though is if you guys are wanting the fastest way, the fastest way that I've found easily um, to uh, record your podcast, like I record this, uh, Sorry about that, guys. My internet cut off for a minute there. Um, yeah, easiest way I've found so far to uh, record a pod, you know, an audio, a podcast, uh, to convert it to MP4, to edit it, add images, etc., is to record record your audio with a uh, screen recorder automatically converts it, which automatically converts it from mp3 to mp4, then you can uh, edit it with your uh, recorder, like Screenomatic. Screenomatic records your screen, and then you can edit, upload villages, uh, villages uh, images, and whatever. You can edit it with Screenomatic, and it's way faster than the method I was using, guys, so... Yep, um, and then, you know, obviously you can s upload it straight to YouTube because it's MP4 which YouTube accepts.